Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nova War and Maximus Black, and we're bringing you another normal ass normal game sent in by the fans of Replays. Life's a glitch TV at gmail.com. Mr. Maximus Black. Yep. Hit me up with your best Overlord noise. It's not bad. It's okay. Did you have like a, a different idea when you first started that, and then it just kind of it did trailed it, it, off there? Absolutely. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Still ended up sounding perfectly fine because the Overlord just sounds like a complete jarbled mess. It doesn't really. You could have been like, "Oh, Barbell Streisand." Like it would have sounded <laughs> perfectly. Streisand. Would have sounded perfectly <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right, down here in the bottom left, uh, and this is that co Cor coral uh, compound yeah, or something like that. There you go. But uh, down here in the bottom left, we're looking at Trice, and up here we're looking at Overlord. Obi Trice. Yeah, real names, no gimmick. <laughs> No, we're not going to go there. All right, so this is a PVZ, uh, and you know what? I I haven't, I still haven't decided yet. At least I don't think I have. Watch, I've probably mentioned it in another cast whether or not I um I like this uh, this map or not. I'm flip flopping on it. I think sometimes I actually like it. I I don't think I think the problem is I haven't seen a really good game on it yet. So maybe that's probably partially. Well, why do you have you vetoed this on your map list? No, you I, I have it on my map list. Um, you know, per perfectly honest with you, I used to be a stickler when it comes to maps and was like, eh, I don't like this. This is not fair. I can't hold a third. <laughs> um, but I've just come to learn that every map has something. Has something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can abuse something in every map. So I mean, you're never gonna have the perfect map. Really, I, I'm gonna say Metalopolis. I, but Metalopolis to me is Zerg favored. So really, yeah, like big time. For what reason? Um, everything's just too close. It's it's hard to hold a, a natural. Um, it's is a, there a lot an of, Adams a lot of... Cafe in the middle of the woods? Man, I am going up everywhere. I am more prevalent Damn. than Tim Hortons. Damn, I'm there, I'm on every street and forest corner. Absolutely. That's how you make your money right there. Take it take it from me. So it looks like Trice is actually going to try and uh, do a nice little cannon rush here to try to deny this uh, natural uh, from Overlord. And it's really going to... Oh! oh it's really going to suck when your probe gets stuck in the mineral line. Yeah, well, you know what? This isn't all that bad. I think right now Overlord should be running these drones back to base and just trying to collect a few more minerals before this hatchery finishes. You know uh, you're going to have those four uh, four Zerglings for scouting anyway, so leave that pylon there and then get your minerals back with those drones, right? Yeah, I mean, there's there's really no rush in killing this pylon. You know that a probe isn't going to come up and try and do this again. You said cannon rush, but it's really not a cannon rush. It's just trying to deny a natural. It's not a cheese or anything like that. No. This is very, very typical for a Protoss player. I've done this many times. But you really need to watch it. You don't want to commit too much on it because then the, the Zerg will go, okay, I'll expand here. I'll just go over here. I'll ninja expand. Yeah. And then I'll and come then, back there later. Uh, yeah, I'll kill this and then I'll get a third. Yeah. That's usually how it works. That's, that's but pretty much how it goes You know what? Down. I think that uh, kind of worked out for the best for Trice. He didn't, you know, overextend himself because I feel like if he actually would have got that cannon down, he probably would have tried to put a pile on here to try to block it. And I, I think that it just would have been shits for him. Yeah. He lost 100 minerals. That's okay because usually a Protoss will lose 100 minerals trying to deny the natural and anyhow. No matter what, yeah. And he did, he did a little bit of damage with these drones coming off the line. I mean, I think it kind of paid for itself. And some lings are out on the field, and he's doing a great job at micro those lings. Didn't lose a single ling nice. there. Nice. Which is very, very nice. Channeling his inner Leenok. Very, very good, yeah. And this one stalker is going to get a quick drone kill. Not really um, doing anything major. I'm 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 waiting to see what he's planning to do right now because he's still sitting on his one gate. He's got his oh, so I guess okay. Never mind. I stand corrected. He's going to expand behind this. Okay, okay, yeah. This uh, is which is a bit uh, with double gas and everything. It's a bit strange and kind of risky because really Overlord could push in here. There's no real cannons. He has his forge, but he hasn't put up a cannon anywhere. Well, what, the thing that I'm, I'm no sentries either. Well, the thing that I that's getting me going here is okay. This this is great, but I. I honestly thought he was forged fast expanding. You know, that's usually what you do. You get your forge down here. You get ready to drop this nexus. You don't put a forge here. Like, was he legitimately trying to cannon rush? Because I really don't get it. He's not getting an early upgrade. Um, this is just a weird place. And, maybe, he's, and he's expanding behind it? Yeah, may, maybe he was planning something completely different, and then he had to uh, change what he planned on doing. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, here we okay. go. Well, there you, that makes way more sense. All right. Okay, so we have the Dark Shrine going down here. That explains why he was so heavy in, into the gas. Okay. Uh, and he's expanding behind it, which is... this is He's just doing everything at once. Well, right you know now. what? I, I, I don't know if Trice is like trying to metagame 
Uh, this is going to be meta game right because this isn't exactly. It's meta gaming me, and I'm casting it. And it's I have not full even, vision. It's, it's definitely not standard <laughs> Protoss play to expand behind a DT. Yeah. yeah. Or like rush. Like there's no against the Zerg. I mean, it's ballsy, but we still don't have later tech yet. There's well, that's no the thing. Evo chamber. However, he doesn't have a whole lot of time. I feel before layer tech will begin. I mean, what are we now? Seven and a half minutes into the game, really, Zerg is going to start thinking about that layer tech pretty friggin' yeah, soon. Well, the layer tech is going to happen soon, mainly because I do see what three extractors now uh, being dropped, and there is an attack here. The thing is, wow. is he going to be able to get a force field off here? Not allow these lings inside. He does not want to give away the. Oh, Bob was just doing oh, his job. Nice and a nice little force field, so these lings will not get the vision of that DT. Grab a couple and, of probes, um, though. He is going to lose quite a bit of pros but you know what adam i still give this to trice right now as long as he can get out a couple more oh, units which oh. he does oh okay they pulled the there's no there's nothing stopping the zerg from running up into the base right now which you know anytime that he, that he gets in at this point it's risking having that dark shrine revealed it is in the back corner of the base it's in a bit of an obscure, obscure place he's going to warp one in anyway yeah and give it away yeah this so is good. This, this is not good that was not the best decision that he could have made there absolutely not like trice he should have warped in a couple of units back here and not have lost those two zealots as quickly as they did they got surrounded by lings he could have put bob yeah, in his position more sat it there and now overlord knows that there's dts on the field he, he basically showed his cards I was putting Trice ahead because sure he lost some pros, but he has the tech advantage. Overlord right now just streaming in lings after lings after lings, using up all of his larva. There is an Evo chamber being uh, created right now, and I think once those four crawlers gets up, he's just going to be so far behind. I can't see him coming back. Yeah, well, this is this is all that pylon. Is that going to go down? Did that pylon go down? It did too. Yeah. With only a couple of lings left um, in that group, you now have a couple of DTs out on the field for Overlord or not Overlord Trice. Sorry. Uh, and look at this, 40 lings being created. He kind of, he, know, he knows. Yeah. He knows he, he knows what's down there. He's getting his overseer and everything, and he knows that he still has a major advantage, especially after powering down all of those uh, warp gates. There's no warp cycles coming up for uh, uh, quite a period of time now. Those pylons just finishing, and look at all of those lings. They're going to be on their way, yeah. and the overseer will be with them. I feel like we are seeing uh, the beginning of the end of this game, Mr. Black. No, absolutely. It's GG. I mean, what's this? this is 40 lings-ish? <laughs> This death. What, what, what is this going to do? No, oh, I mean, they could do a dance. They could do a, a slash dance. Yeah, they uh, could. Go out in style. I mean, and there's a spider on the way right now. Um, Surprise. Here comes the game. This is going to be You're a for the overseer. Running. Where's the overseer? Oh, the overseer is like uh, five minutes behind. It's up. It's, oh, it's okay. Coming. I see it here. There, there, yeah, there All right. Pending death. He's on his way. He's on his All way. All right. We do have uh, our, an Archon being formed now, which is, um, you know, I guess at this point better than in DTs, Unless really. Unless I see the most godlike force fields right now. Okay, there's a All decent right. one. That's a start. Okay. Give me another. Yeah. Uh, nah. Uh, you nah. kind of ran over your own with the... Nah. With the not no. really feeling that. That's, that one's nah, not a great not decision. Not feeling that one. Okay. Oh, that one's a little bit better. That's This improving. Archon is putting in work. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice little warp yeah. cycle in there. It looks like he's actually going to survive this attack. Okay. I think waiting for that uh, waiting for that overseer that actually definitely cost shot him, him right there. That actually shot him in the foot big time, waiting for that overseer. Uh, in fact, the, the more ideal situation there would have been to send that overseer down before those 40 lings were even done and just sit it and uh, get it ready for the attack because... He did, he waited like an extra 30 uh, seconds or so to get that down there to attack, and that was enough um, uh, to allow uh, Trice to get that one, that Archon up, which definitely that splash damage against Zerglings was, is, is quite a huge factor, and two, to be able to get up for that warp cycle and build a couple more structures here to help complete that wall with the force field. So, at the end of the day there, while he did get a couple of kills in, he didn't do as much as I think he hoped to do, but he is still way ahead in food count, and uh, we just saw a massive Muta Ball that's on its way down right now. Alright, so the first time I was impressed that he survived that. Now I'll be really... Now I'm going to be Really impressed. impressed. I will name my first child Trice. If he holds this. I'm holding you to that shit, dude. <laughs> I, I'm, actually, I'm actually rooting. I am rooting. Can I at least name him Obi Trice? Absolutely. Absolutely. How epic would that be? That would be the ultimate Just epic. Just a giant white man named Obi Trice. Buff. Does he have to be overweight, though? No. Oh, no, okay. He have to be overweight. Okay. Just have to hold the name. So, uh, here we go. The mutas are going to focus right on that cannon, well, and unless, the zealots are sitting pretty. Unless charge lots can magically uh, grow booster rockets and jump up into the air here, uh, they're not going to be able to do a whole lot. No. And uh, just the economic damage alone that this attack is going to... Oh, DTs! Yeah, okay. Warp them into Archons right in front of them. Yeah. 
That's not going to help you. No, that's... This that's is a, GG. Yeah, this is going to be this game. This is GG. I'm going to hand it to, to Obi Trice there. He... 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 He got plasma shields coming. Yeah, well... You know, he's got those Archons. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Game Oh, over. my goodness. Look at how close that was to being done. Oh, sour. Oh, sour. That's highly unfortunate. All right, we got a counterattack for Trice. He got those charge lots in there, and they're just gonna get eaten up here by Muta, Spine Crawlers, and Lings. Wait, did that finish? Or is it just like glitched? Is that icon glitched? This? Yeah, what the? I don't know what happened with it. Uh, oh, it finished. He was just starting level two. Oh, okay. I tripped there for a second. How much do you suck at StarCraft? Quit oh. or being a effing Zerd, Zerd player, player and all. all. Please go die. Thanks. Well, that's aggressive. Well, at least he said thank you. He forgot to please, though. If you're going to ask somebody to go kill themselves, he at said, least... He said please go die. Oh, oh, he oh, said, please oh, and thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, well, then he's perfectly fine, then. That's... Yeah. He was... He... Common courtesy. Yeah, please If you're, you're going to ask somebody die. to die... Thanks. At least be courteous about it. Your mother taught you well. Come on. Yeah. Keep your elbows off the table and say please and thank you when you're trying to tell somebody to kill themselves. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a normal-ass normal game. I didn't mind that game. No, there was stuff to talk about, which was which is nice. Yeah, no. And, uh, luckily, I don't have to name my first child Obi Trice. I feel like Natalie would probably have had a problem with that. Yeah. Um, as well as probably the rest of the world. So, um, kudos for that. Yep. Don't have to worry about that. We're all winners. We're, everybody's a winner today. All right, Mr. Max was black. Yep. Let's wrap it up. This has been Light TV coming to you from the final Cal Canuckville, Canada. We'll see you soon. Peace out.